Good morning. I'm Derek Whaley with Roush Clean Tech, and today I'm with Steve Bell from Dairy Township here in beautiful Hershey, Pennsylvania. Uh, behind us, we have a Roush Ford Bluebird a propane powered vision. And what we're going to do is have Steve walk us through just how to refuel one of these near zero emission school buses that take over 1.2 million kids to school every uh, every day in a uh, non-2020 year. Uh, what our drivers will do, they have to unlock the fuel door. Uh, on these particular vehicles, they are they are situated or optioned with a, with a switch that disables the ignition from starting unless the fuel door is closed, uh, which is a great option. That way you can't drive away with the nozzle hooked up. So first thing they do is unlock the fuel door to expose the fill port. Then they come over to our dispenser and all of our buses are equipped with the, uh, with the quick fill connection. And they just simply have to push the nozzle into place and lock the handle on. And they're on. And if you want to know the fill rate of filling this propane vehicle, it is really not any slower than filling our diesel units. You cannot overfill this tank. At this point, we just turn the machine off and we can come over to this vehicle and release the nozzle from the, from the vehicle fill port. It's, it's, it's very simplistic and very user friendly to use. And uh, then our drivers just hang it back up. So now we're inside the Bluebird Propane Roush school bus. And what I want Steve to walk us through here is the starting procedure for one of these buses. It's gonna be a little bit different than opposed to a conventional diesel or gasoline, and it's by design. So Steve, walk us through what a driver would do on a normal day before trip. Okay, so in this case, the driver just fueled the vehicle. They made sure that the fuel door was relocked because as we said, we have the option of having the sensor that prevents the vehicle from starting unless the fuel door is closed. So you cannot drive away with the nozzle connected. So now they'll come in the bus, same as any other school bus, whether it's diesel powered, gasoline, what have you, they're just gonna make sure the parking brake is still applied, that the vehicle is in neutral. And the only uh, significant difference here is that instead of holding the key into the crank position to start the vehicle, they just momentarily hold it in the crank position and let the key go. So what this bus is doing right now, and at Roush by design, we wanted this simplicity to be at the forefront, simplicity and safety. So I'll start with simplicity first. The driver want to take as much air and confusion out as possible. So when they go to turn that switch over, it engages Otis, which is Ford's one touch integration start. Now what happens is the fuel pumps inside the bus in the tanks are going through what's called a flush cycle. They're activating and making sure that liquid propane from the tank goes all the way up into each individual injector and a Roush fuel rail pressure control module then indicates the right amount of liquid propane is at each individual injector, it's okay to turn over. So whether it's negative 55 degrees Fahrenheit or whether it's 120 degrees Fahrenheit, you'll have consistent reliability from your starting sequence in a propane powered bus. And Steve, I can hear you. Exactly, it's quiet. Uh, it's the first thing the drivers talk about that, that transfer from a diesel powered bus and they get their new propane vehicle. It's like, wow, I can hear the kids talk. You know, I don't have to yell. Um, and they, they, it takes no time at all before they're seeing the positive effects of driving the propane bus, even with fueling. And you know, when you can have heat in your vehicle, especially coming into winter here, you can have heat pumping through your vehicle and warming your feet up before you even leave the bus lot. That's a plus for anybody. So um, that's probably the number one thing I hear this time of year is, you know, is wow, I really like my propane bus because I actually have heat. Propane is the only one that at negative 55 degrees or, or higher can start and heat 
in under 20 minutes without any unassisted block heater parked inside or other virtue to be able to keep them and get them warm. No one else can say that in the alternative fuel space. So Steve, four years or are we going on five years now? 2015 is when we started operating uh, Bluebird Propane Vision school buses uh, in our fleet. Okay, and as the annual replacement has stacked up, what are we at now with the current number and what percentage of the fleet runs on propane? Uh, typically we replace four units a year. We're up to 22 uh, propane bluebirds uh, at this point in time out of our 44 bus fleet. Um, and actually at this point, over half of our mainline buses are propane units. So now propane is mainstream for the uh, for the fleet. I yep. love that. So as far as the initial days, and I remember meeting with you and talking with you, all of the different fuels, even five years ago, all the different fuels that were out there, what stood out about propane and why did dairy choose a nestle in on propane? Well, after, after researching all the different alternative fuel options, you know, we looked at propane stood out for us because Number one, it was, there wasn't any modifications we had to do to our, to our maintenance facility. Um, no changes to the, to the lighting, uh, electrical issues, anything like that. We don't, we don't have any maintenance pits, so we didn't even have that concern for propane. Um, no sensors or, or warning devices were needed to operate propane in our shop. Virtually everything is the same whether we're working on gasoline, diesel, or propane in this shop. Same qualifications, same requirements. 